Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Vodawise, and welcome back to From the Depths, Weird and Wonderful, where we've got a replica build. A lovely uh, replica of the F7F uh, Tiger Cat by Tiananmen Tankman, which is, gotta say, one of the better usernames I've ever heard. So, this is interesting. Like, I happened to spot this on the workshop just as I was thinking, you know what I haven't built enough of? Uh, propeller planes, or at the very least, things that look like them. And so then I spotted this and thought, ooh, let's see how this works. And, yeah, it works amazingly well. Uh, just, uh, this thing goes over 200 meters per second. And there's secrets as to why that is, uh, which we'll get to in a little bit. Before we do that, I'd just like you to read out uh, some backstory on this thing, because it's always more fun to... Uh, to kind of show off what exactly uh, this replica build is. So, the Grumman F-7F Tiger Cat uh, is a heavy fighter aircraft that served with the United States Navy and United States Marine Corps from late in World War II until 1954. So, uh, too late to see combat in World War II, it saw action as a night fighter and attack aircraft during the Korean War. So, it didn't actually see much action, uh, but uh, this Tiger Cat, which... Um, Looking at the photo, uh, this thing isn't an exact replica by the looks of it. Like, the body of the real thing uh, is a bit longer. Um, but it's okay, because this thing still looks a hell of a lot better than anything I could come up with. So, uh, well done, Tiananmen Tank Man. And um, the weird thing. So let's get to the weird one. For, what's the, there's a lot that's wonderful. It's a very convincing replica, apart from just the minor uh, shape of the craft uh, that I mentioned. Uh, it's very fast, so one of the main reasons I, well, I, the, one of the reasons I don't usually make uh, propeller planes is just because they're not very fast. Uh, because using spin blocks and deadly blades, you don't usually get a super fast aircraft, and that's their main advantage. And the main reason that they stay alive is just that they're fast and they outrun most things. Um, but this one is very fast, and there's some wizardry in that. And um, the wizardry in question, uh, well. Let's do this. Uh, this thing is made entirely of sub-objects, pretty much. I'm not, in fact, sure uh, where the actual body of this thing is. Like, you can see all this. It's folded up into itself. It is a, a spin block craft, so to speak. And there's so many of them all over the place. And, um, well, first, let's, let's have this fella shoot down something. This thing can actually go uh, mano y mano. Um, let's have just one Geiger. And let's do that. So it's got two APS shells uh, just uh, hidden within the thing itself. Quite cunningly. And it's just flying around. I really love this. I'm still in beta test, by the way. Uh, I really love this new camera. Especially this follow along camera. It's really nice. So this thing is really damn fast. Flies around, shoots, and yada yada yada. And it performs decently as a combat craft, but I think this is mainly an exercise in getting something that not only looks, but also feels like a real uh, prop plane aircraft. Really should check what those shells are, what those shells are, because I kind of forgot to do that. Uh, but in any case, actually let's do exactly that as soon as this thing rotates around, rotates around? Turns around. I know plane lingo. When this thing points in the other direction, Let's see. I actually whoop, circle the distance, all that. Oh yeah, it's got uh, by the looks of it a whole bunch of ACB stuff. All right, let's see these shells here. Those are those look like armor piercing timed flak by the looks of it, which is a okay and looks super cool. These things do tend to miss a lot, but um. That's fine and dandy. Alright, so now that you've seen uh, the plane itself, uh, let's show you the, uh, all the sub-objects that it's made of. Like, this is ridiculous. And I'd like to apologize for this uh, platform bobbing around. It has PIDs on it to keep it steady, but uh, all the control surfaces of the thing itself uh, are still active, so it bobs around. So firstly, like... Well, yeah, it's just, it's sub-objects stacked on sub-objects stacked on sub-objects, and there's multiple things here. Here's the main body of the thing. Um, you can see that uh, the APS, where is that? This is the APS. Uh, it's all folded uh, in the center. And then, 
It's got uh, two uh, custom jets in there, which is this is why it goes so fast. It's just by looks of these, th uh, looks of it, these are yeah, it's pure fuel injectors by the looks of it. Actually, yep, that's the compressor. That's the generator. Oh, I didn't know you could stick compressors on a generator. That's neat. So there's the generator, combustion chamber, and yeah, it's just solid uh, injector custom jets. So yeah, very fuel thirsty, but yeah, it goes like stink. What else, what else? So it's here, this um, not incredibly good uh, APS Tetris. Uh, there are people I'm aware of uh, who would absolutely cry in their pants if they saw this. They'd be really upset. Uh, but that's aesthetic builders for you. They either don't know, or they don't care, or a combination of the two, and good on them. So yeah, it's got uh, this APS in there. I think I said earlier that there was two APSs, that's wrong. And uh, yeah, the end of the wings is on spin blocks, because remember, uh, the Tiger Cat uh, was originally intended to be a carrier craft. And let's just have a look at that. And yeah, so this is, uh, this is all deco uh, on the front there. Ooh, actually... Wow, that's really good. Everyone take note of this. You can mimic nukes to uh, look like that. And it looks like, let's see here. It's tactical nuke, mimic sphere, mimic sphere, and mimic sphere. So that is how the props are made. And it looks jolly. That looks really good, actually. So ha that's how they look. And I don't think they do anything. Yeah, so the AI is just up here. It's blended in together. So, like, I'm not going to go into details, like, you should absolutely uh, have a look at this thing. So, see, when it's turned off, uh, the wings fold up, and I believe there's a... Yeah, so if you go over here, I think you can see quite clearly that there's ion jets here, there, and everywhere. Where are you? It's clearly visible occasionally. Yep, so you can see in there, ion jets. Where are you? Where are you? Where are ya? Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Where, where is you? Where's you? Actually, the easiest way to show this is just over here. V. Power. Spin block. Yeah, it's got 11 ion thrusters in there, which means that this thing can uh, take off uh, straight uh, from the water. Assuming it doesn't do that. Nope, there it goes. So, uh, yeah, that's not a 100% realistic uh, plane a thing to do, as far as I'm aware. This is not a flying boat. But, frankly, who cares? <laughs> it's really cool and handy. So, yeah, that's basically all I can really talk about uh, with the Tiger Cat. Um, this is another avenue from the depths that I re never really explore myself. It's just this spin block wizardry is what I'm going to call it from now on. And, um, yeah, I haven't even mentioned the deco on this. It's got lovely deco. And marines. Just so you know who's driving this thing. Marines. In the, or in this case, Rambo. So, yeah, it's just masterful work. Uh, Tiananmen Tankman. And, yeah. That's basically it, really. Let's, hold on. Let's do the cinematic camera thing again. And let's spawn in a Shrike or two. Just so we can shoot at them. Jolly good. Alright, so that's basically it. This is one of those things that's so complicated that there's not actually much to talk about. Because really, you it, you gonna, kind of got to reverse engineer it yourself in order to see what on earth it's on about. It's basically a whole bunch of sub-objects folded together. Actually, what does it look like when this thing blows up? Hang on, I'm about to commit heresy. Eh. Explosion. It looks really weird. <laughs> yeah, you can see that's way more bits than... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Yeah, you see, it's like... It, it's like a freaking... What, what is that doll called again? The Russian dolls that, like, there's more of them inside each other? It's like that. Except, uh, except more wacky than that. So anyway, that is the, uh, that is the F7F Tiger Cat. Where on earth are you? And let's go over here. 
wonderful little plane, and I'm happy it exists. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and thank you to Tiananmen Tankman uh, for making this thing and putting it up on the workshop for us all to enjoy, because I have definitely enjoyed it. Farewell!